everything you need to know about British or UK plugs. A plug, such as this one, is used to help many, many types of electrical appliances all work. A plug is used with an electrical appliance to connect it securely to an AC power supply, so allowing an electrical current to flow into the appliance safely. If we look at the back of the plug and then take off the back of the plug, we see a variety of objects. A plug has one, two, three, four main parts to it. The first is its outer casing. If we look into our plug and take out all the smaller parts, we are left with this shell, which is made of plastic. So it makes the casing strong, rigid, waterproof, and it's also an electrical insulator. The second part in a plug is the fuse, which we see highlighted here. Fuses are electrical safety devices, which are designed to break if too much current flows through them. Fuses consist of a tube made of an insulating material, such as glass or plastic, with caps at the ends, these made of a metal alloy. Inside the tube, joining the caps together, is fuse wire, usually made out of the alloy nichrome. When we add the fuse to our circuit of copper wires, the current flows from the wire from the mains, through the fuse, into the copper wire attached to the appliance. However, if too much current flows from the mains, the fuse wire resists this large current, making the fuse wire warm up, get hot, and eventually melt and snap, preventing the larger current from flowing, and so protecting the user and the appliance. The third part in a plug are the wires. Inside our plug we see there are three plastic covered wires. Looking at the ends of the one, two, three wires, we see the inner copper metal wires, copper being used because it is a good electrical conductor. The copper wires are attached to the pins, these made of a copper alloy called brass, because brass is also a good electrical conductor, but is also quite strong. Attached to the fuse is the live wire, which we can remember by knowing that B stands for bottom and R stands for right, and BR stands for brown, as the brown wire is the live wire that carries the current at 230 volts at a frequency of 50 Hz AC. The blue wire, or B for bottom and L for left, is blue, or blue, because it is the neutral wire and completes the circuit from the appliance back to the main supply at zero volts. The third wire is the yellow and green wire. Think of a yellow and green coloured sunflower growing upwards from the earth. This wire does the same, going upwards out of the cable, this wire being the earth wire. The three wires are four colours. Live is the brown wire, neutral is the blue wire, earth is the yellow and green wire. The fourth part in a plug is the cable grip, here coloured in red. Its job is to lock the cable firmly into the plug, so making the plug safer to use. The four parts of a plug, the outer casing, the fuse, the wires and the cable grip. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!